I'm Neil Magny, and these are some of my favorite fights. Neil Magny! Punk, make it seven in a row! His winning streak right now is obviously the longest active in the welterweight division. My third favorite fight would be against Hin Gulim when I fought him in the Philippines. Massive welterweight. This guy has tremendous power. We're going to that fight, I knew he was dangerous. He had a uh, huge knockout power, and I ended up getting clipped early on. Oh, big right hand there. Magny looks stunned. Kind of rocked me. I tried to move away, and he stormed me. So I was just waiting for my chance to clinch up with him and recover and take the fight back. Nice takedown from Neil Magny. Pouring it on. Lips and it opened up. Neil Magny! It felt great to beat the guy at his own game and, and come out on top. My second favorite fight was against Rodrigo de Lima. I knocked him down early, I, I fought him to the ground, and he had to sweep me over. Look at this, immediately sweeps from half guard and takes the back. Had me mounted, had me in the triangle, and I even remember at one point lifting him in the air and <laughs> walking over to the cage while in the triangle and just uh, trying to hold on and get to the second round. Very tight from de Lima now. He's got just a couple seconds and he's out. I remember one coach specifically yelling, hey, this might have been a 10 8 round for him. You were on bottom the entire time and you need to pick it up. You're going to pick him apart on his feet. He's got nothing. Once the second round started, just came out aggressive. I just ended up switching right in front of him and then came down with the crosses in the softball position and it, it landed right in the button. Combination! Oh, he's in trouble! It is all over! That was my first knockout in the UFC as well, so that definitely felt great. My first first fight was against Frank Camacho. That was uh, the fight to get into the house and the ultimate fighter. Good. That fight, I got taken down, I got my back taken, got mounted, and just getting the crap beat out of me. I tried to fight off the fighter four times, and it was just like my dream was slipping away at that point. I really had to just leave everything I had in there. I like this kid, man. <laughs> Big shot. House. Big shot. Winner. Advancing into the house, Old Neil Magny. Now I look back on it, having a set fight win streak in the UFC and getting ready to face some top opponents is just, just unbelievable how much uh, it paid off and how much hard work has been helping me get through. The states are definitely different now. I'm in a position where I'm fighting a guy who's ranked number six and it opens up so much more doors. Beating a guy like Damian Meyer sets me up to face guys like Carlos Conner, Johnny Hendricks, and even Robbie Lawler. He's definitely a dangerous guy. Definitely has a lot of tricks up his sleeves, but uh, I just feel like I'm ready for it. I feel like it's my time now and, and this fight is just set up perfect for me.